Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a face filter from start to finish. There will be three parts in this video. The first is setting up, the second is creating the filter, and finally is exporting it to your Instagram. Feel free to jump ahead if you've already have the Spark AR set up in your computer. So what is Spark AR? Spark AR is basically the augmented reality platform that Facebook and Instagram provides which allows users to create their own filters and you could use it for free. To get ourselves prepared, let's download everything that we will need to create a face filter. We first obviously have to download Spark AR Studio. So go ahead and search Spark AR. Go on to the website, click download, and then download again. Other things that you will need in order to follow along with this tutorial is the face reference assets that Spark AR already provides and a graphics editor program to create the face paint. This could be either Photoshop, Procreate, Clip Studio, or if you want something free, you can use GIMP or Krita. All the links for the downloads will be in the description below. Now, once you open up the Spark AR Studio, you'll see that the create new panel comes with templates already prepared for you so that you can easily get started depending on the filter that you want to create. Since we're still learning the basics, we're gonna start off from scratch and create a blank project. Now we have here the Spark AR interface. This window right here is the simulator. It will preview the current look of your effect. You can choose different options by clicking the camera icon on the left and selecting a different face. Another option is to use your computer camera so you can test the filters on your face. Like that, and now you can see that it's changed here. This whole area here is the viewport where you can work on your project in the 3D space. This is where you can position, rotate, or scale the objects that you include in. The scene and assets panel is where you can add elements to your project, including objects, texture, materials and animations as well. This whole right side is the inspector panel where you can make changes to the properties of the elements you created on the scene and assets panel. All of this will make more sense once we jump into creating our project. On the very left side is the toolbar where you could change the view of your workspace, the camera icon which we already talked about, you can pause, play, or stop the animation and also restart it. And the search icon is just so that you can search any elements in your project. On the very bottom of the toolbar, you can find the library where you can search elements that Spark AR or other users have created. And this phone icon is where you can test your effect either on the Spark AR player app or you could send it to either your Facebook or Instagram camera. And finally, the export button is where you can upload your effect on your account. Now that we got a quick overview of our workspace, we can now start creating our effect. To get started, click on add object and scroll to face mesh. You can also see that the face tracker is automatically added in. And now you can see that the face mesh is instantly applied to the simulator preview. The properties will be shown in the inspector panel on the right. And what you have to do is create a material by clicking the plus sign and double click on it so that we can edit the material. I changed the shader type to face paint because I find that it blends in the best with the face. Oh, and go ahead and rename your material to, let's just name it face stickers so that we keep our elements organized. Now we need to create the image texture for this material, which is basically going to be a PNG image. So first pull up the face reference assets that you've downloaded. Go on textures and select one of these templates either the feminine one, the masculine, or just the outline of it. Open up your selected graphics editor. I'll be using Procreate and import in your image. Add in a new layer on top so that you can begin painting on the face. To make it simple, I'll just be drawing in 
uh, smiley face stickers all over the face and placing it everywhere. Once you like the look of it, let's add it on to Spark AR. So just hide the face reference and then export it as a PNG and I'm just going to airdrop it. Now back onto Spark AR, just drag in your image to the assets panel. Go on to your material and on the texture section you can click on your image and it'll appear on your face now since spark ar automatically compresses your image it's best to click no compression here so that our image quality stays crisp and so there you go there you have it you can still tweak around it by right clicking on your image and hit replace and just select the new image that you've made changes to Optionally, you can also test your effect on your device. I have my phone here. So I'm just going to open up the Spark AR Player app. Click on test on device and send it to your phone. And as you can see, it works pretty well. You can also open it from your Instagram account as well. Just hit send and you can find it on your notifications where you can test it there. Now that we have our filter completed and ready to go, click on the export button on the left side. And once you see that everything is green, it means your file meets the requirements. And just hit upload. You will then be directed to the Spark AR website where you can upload it and have it reviewed. And since I already have my Facebook logged in, It'll direct me to the publish page right away. Alright, so first let's give our effect a name. Let's say smiley stickers. For platforms, I usually just leave it for all since might as well put it on Facebook too. For categories, you could choose up to four um, that best fits your effect. So let's pick mood and selfies. You can also see the description below to better understand each categories. And for keywords, it says you can add up to 20. So let's put in smile, smiley, smiling, happy, joy, face, cute, fun, stickers. And that should be fine. Um, we'll skip the demo video for now. We'll go back to this later on. For the icon, I just cropped a square image of one of the sticker drawing that I made and just drag that in. Hit confirm. That looks good. Publication date, just set it as soon as possible unless you want to give it specific time and date. Instructions for reviewer. That is where the reviewer will read to understand how your filter works. And since we just have a simple face paint filter, let's just put a uh, show a face to show smiley stickers. Simple. All right. Now you want to hit save so that we can put in our demo video. Now that it's saved, we can open it on the app. Let's send it over to Instagram. And, and you can see on your activity page that you can now test your filter. Just hit continue. And you want to just film a quick little video and save it. And I'm just going to airdrop that video to my desktop and now you can just quickly drag on your video and select a thumb video thumbnail just hit submit and you're done
you just have to wait for the review uh, the duration of the review varies but for me it takes about three to five hours until facebook approves it feel free to drop down any questions below and i'll be replying to all the comments if you want to see more tutorials and learn more about what you can do in the Spark AR, go ahead and hit subscribe and also follow me on Instagram where you can see and try out all the other filters I've already created. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.